Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the honor to invite the President of the Republic of Fiji to deliver his remarks and propose a toast this evening. Your Excellency, the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia, His Excellency General, the Honorable David Hurley, and Your Excellency, Mrs. Linda Hurley. Your Excellency, former Presidents, Mr. General, Major General Chochi Conrote and Mrs. Conrote, the Honorable Prime Minister and Mrs. Bailimarama, Speaker to Parliament, former President, Honorable Ratia Peli Naritikau, the Honorable Chief Justice, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Cabinet Ministers, members of Parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Milsa Mularenda, very good evening to you all. I wish to warmly welcome you all to the State House. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to host His Excellency General, the Honorable David Hurley and Her Excellency Linda Hurley on their first ever state visit to Fiji. Exactly a month ago today, an introductory call was made to Your Excellency and Madam Hurley and an invitation was extended to Your Excellency to visit Fiji. Today, with our nation successfully open to each other, we meet in person and we welcome you. Your Excellency, I wish to convey to you both on behalf of the Fijian government and the people our appreciation for your acceptance for the invitation to visit Fiji. And I'm particularly grateful that you'll be making the trip to Wonolim. <laughs> Paradise, Your Excellency. <laughs> your Excellency, I wish to make uh, the special mention of commemoration observed in both Australia and Fiji of the significant contributions of brave Australian and New Zealand servicemen and women who have served and sacrificed in the line of duty. We acknowledge and honour Anzac's legacy of real loyalty, selflessness and courage. The state visit is another step in the journey from strength to strength for the Fiji and Australia partnership 52 years of bilateral relationship, our nations have never been closer, and your visit affirms our shared commitments to continue deepening our ties. The Wuwale partnership has taken the relationship, relations between our nations and people to a new level. I convey our deepest gratitude to Australia for its commit, commitment to elevating its engagement with Fiji. We share a region and a future we must stand our best chance in creating a peaceful and open Pacific together. 
Your Excellencies, your visit is also special because it signifies our shared struggle and triumph in overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic. One year ago, this would be impossible because we have taken steps needed to normalize travel between our countries. Now you and a thousand other Australians have come to Fiji with ease. Call me biased, but I can't imagine anywhere better in the world to seek reprieve from the past two years than here in Fiji. Your Excellency, General, the Honorable David Hurley, and Her Excellency, Ms. Linda Hurley, with your delegation, I wish you great success during your tenure and all your undertakings, as well as longevity and great health. I look forward to hosting you both later in the week in paradise in Wunolevo, the home of my traditional people, where we have wonderful memories to make together. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I propose a toast to our Wuvale partnership for continued good health, peace and prosperity to the Governor General, the government and the people of Australia. Your Excellencies, Arato Williame, Katana Navarre, and Andy Philomena, the Honorable Prime Minister, Josle Barenge Bainimarama, and Mrs. Bainimarama, the Honorable Chief Justice, Kamal Kumar, the Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Rato Apeli Naila Tikal, the former President, Major General Georgi Konroti, Honorable Ministers, Assistant Ministers, Members of Parliament, members of the Diplomatic Corps, heads of the Disciplined Services, permanent secretaries. Your Excellency Luca Danabalu, the Fijian High Commissioner to Australia. Your Excellency John Fix, Australian High Commissioner to Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute delight for Linda and I to be here tonight. And I want to convey our deep appreciation, Your Excellencies, for your hospitality during this state visit. It is wonderful to be able to travel again and to renew face-to-face -face contact that's so vital between partners, between friends and between families. I am, however, going to have to rethink a golden rule I have in Australia that I never compare locations in Australia. It's a big trap for a Governor General. <laughs> I'm going to have to rethink that after your comments tonight. Fiji is a valued partner for Australia. Our bilateral relationship is underpinned by the Bavale Partnership, signed by Prime Minister Morrison and Bainamarama in 2019. The partnership provides a framework for how we work together. It emphasises the values that Fiji and Australia share and our shared ambitions for achieving prosperity and stability in our region. We have shared goals to increase our security, economic, and institutional links, to implement more opportunities to link our peoples, and to tackle important global and regional issues together. The unprecedented challenges and uncertainties we have faced since the Vivali Partnership was signed two and a half years ago have strengthened our resolve and brought us closer together. Through difficult times, the link between our peoples have remained strong. Australia is enormously grateful for the RM, RFMF Buller Force, which came to the aid of people in Victoria during the devastating Blackfire bushfires in 2019. And again this year, from the RFMF, you sent a deployment to assist in Operation Flood Assist following the terrible flooding events in southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. Similarly, through COVID-19 and two tropical cyclones, Australia responded quickly to work with Fiji to aid and rebuild, because that is what family does. We back each other, whether that's following bushfires, floods or cyclones. Australia and Fiji share an interest in a peaceful, secure and resilient Pacific, and we are cooperating closely to respond to common challenges. We are working together in the Solomon Islands to help maintain law and order. We work together to provide disaster relief in Tonga following the devastating earthquake and tsunami. Our joint responses show that members of the Pacific family are best placed to respond to shared challenges and to strengthen Pacific regional security. Our security partnership 
has gone from strength to strength and it's ambitious for the years ahead. And we are seeking opportunities for our forces to work even more closely, enhancing interoperability and preparing for the future. Our economic ties continue to grow. I'm pleased that our pilot for the commercial importation of kava has commenced and that Fijian kava is now available for purchase on Australian shelves. And your High Commissioner in Fiji knows exactly a bar in Canberra to go to. So see him if you need a tip. Just this month, we have seen hundreds more Fijian men and women travel to Australia under the Pacific Australia Labor Mobility Plan. This provides valuable opportunities for Fijians to support their families and communities back home, but similarly, a wary welcome presence and enriched diversity in their host communities across regional and rural Australia. It goes without saying that our love of sport unites Fiji and Australia. And Australia is pleased to be supporting Fijian teams to compete in the region and on the world stage. We've seen the Fijian Drua, the men's team, and Fijiana Drua, the women's team, rugby union teams, relocate to Australia to compete in the Super Rugby Pacific and Super W competitions. Congratulations to the Fijiama Drua, who demonstrated their skills in winning the grand final last weekend. Australia will support more teams and athletes from Fiji and the Pacific in the lead up to the Olympic Games in Brisbane in 2032. By supporting elite Fijian athletes, we hope to inspire a new generation of Fijian sporting legends. Kurundranas over here. The, uh, and strengthen the bonds between our people. An important value that Australia and Fiji shares is respect. Respect for each other, for our environment, and for our joint commitments to our Blue Pacific. Australia acknowledges and respects Fiji's global leadership on climate change and advocacy in that direction. The Australian government has set a target to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, and the Pacific's priorities play heavily into Australia's considerations. Our collective efforts at COP26 last year achieved positive outcomes for the region, and thank you, Prime Minister, for your leadership. Our Bivali partnership commits us to ensure that women are able to participate fully and freely in political, economic and social life. And we're working together to promote women's leadership and decision-making, increase women's economic empowerment and seek to end violence against women. While the past two years have thrown up unprecedented challenges, as Bivali, we have pulled together. I congratulate the Government of Fiji for leading a swift and effective response to COVID-19 I'm proud that Australia was able to step up and support your health response and that we are now seeing Australian tourists return to Fiji and Fiji's economy on a trajectory for recovery. Our Bavali partnership continues to provide a platform for elevated co cooperation, consultation, which is critical, and friendship between our two nations as we work together with a common goal of building a Pacific region that is secure, stable and prosperous. Banaka Bakalebu. And may please join me in a toast. To the President, the Government, and the people of Fiji. The President. Banaka.